enters. Hey DJ, cue the music. I'm glad to have y'all back with another episode. Today we are going to talk about butterflies. I want to give a shout out to my mini for buying a butterfly growing kit. Growing a butterfly is not like growing a, a plant. So John Thomas, just to remind everyone, Mimi got this from the Nature Store, and I think it's naturegifts.com. We'll be sure to post more information in the description below. Tell us a little bit about what you got in the package. Well, there's some butterflies and one that I don't know if it's on the box or not, but when you buy them, you do not want to shake the bottles of these little insects or whatever they're called, I don't even know. But uh, it said not to shake it, shake them. And, and so when they uh, grow to butterflies, it comes with this right here, little balls of fluff, and you get water in this little bottle, put these packets of sugar, and shake it up and dissolve it, then you put it on these little balls. So what's gonna happen is, first of all, these caterpillars don't look like butterflies. Not yet. So they don't ship them to you as butterflies? No. The one thing they did ship to you that says a lot, there are some great instructions right here. And there's and a coloring book right here. Oh, oh the, there is a life cycle for the butterfly. Can you point out how the butterflies arrive to us first? Do we get them as eggs? No. Okay, tell us about what we got. So, so first, the people that have the animals, they f the people that have them, they have them as eggs. Then when they turn into these, they ship it to us. Okay, they ship it. And then we have to wait for a little bit. Then they will turn into a chrysalis. And they will shed the sand one more time. And then they will turn into butterflies. So you've learned a lot about butterflies already. Can because you share with everyone how you learned about butterflies already? Well, I read the book right here. Okay, so it comes with the National Geographic book that tells all about the life cycle of butterflies. A butterfly. And oh, one thing we didn't mention, show them the little pop-up container that you've enjoyed playing with, even though we've not done anything with it. Yes. Yeah. And, but uh, right here it has a zipper on one side that you unzip the put what the butterflies crawl into. That's right. So this is an easy thing to do. It takes about two to three weeks for the entire process. And we'll be sure to post some it, pictures in the comments when it, we get to that point. But what we're waiting on, what we're waiting it, on right now are the caterpillars to go to the chrysalis stage. And can you look down there and tell me how far along they are? Can you look and see? Well, I can see. I. I think I can tell this one. Some of those guys are trying to make a chrysalis a lot. Okay, so what will happen is we'll know it's time to move them when all the caterpillars go from this neat little container to the top of the container and they hang themselves upside down and they freeze. And they, like John Thomas said, what do they do one more time? Shed the sand. Yeah. And uh, if you want to take them out and feed them on your hand, you need, if you have dogs or cats you, inside, you need to put them up before you take the butterflies out of here because probably they will chase after them and probably kill them or something. Yeah, well, I don't think I don't think yeah. it recommended that in the instructions. Yeah. What the end goal is to to do is to transfer them in the chrysalis stage with the container apart. You don't want to open it and introduce bacteria into their little ecosystem right now. They're eating and they're fine, 
They're gonna get bigger and bigger and then they'll go into the chrysalis stage and then we'll move them very carefully because we can't let them fall. And then we'll hang them inside their cage, their collapsible cage, and we just wait. And they need to stay inside during this time at basic room temperature. And then at that point, we wait for them to emerge. And something cool you learned about when they emerge. Can you tell us about how their wings are gonna look when they come out? Crumbled and they're gonna be wet. So you will, maybe you will have to start getting water, put this in the bottom, shake it up, dissolve it, and spray it on one of these foam balls, mm -hmm. fluffy balls, and you need to carefully pick it up, I think, in your hand and hold the foam ball. Now, I don't know if they'll come eat with us, yeah. eat from our hand like another animal, not like a bird or something, but yeah. they will eat in the cage and they do like fruit that's cut up. Yeah. We learned from our book that they don't have a mouth like we would think of with, yeah. a te with teeth and a jaw. And so they have to drink through a what? A, I don't know the name of it, but it's kind of like a straw. Like a straw. Yeah. And they'll drink the juice, and that's what the sugar is for here. And, yeah. and they have little taste bud things on their feet. They, if, you, if, they, if you don't, I mean, if y'all don't know that they taste with their feet. They do, and John Thomas learned all these cool facts from the book that they provide in the packet. And there's also a plan if you'd like to get another shipment of caterpillars since you have all the other things you need and nothing that you have here is something you'd have to purchase that you already have at home. You could do another round, right? We, we don't know if it needs hot water or cold water. Y'all might need to follow the instructions. I do think that's a great idea. You always want to follow the directions. Yeah. And they're very kid friendly, uh, something great you can do at home. While many of us are at home and most of our schools are doing distance learning, this might be a neat project for you to do with your parents. John Thomas and I are really looking forward to it. Again, we're gonna post pictures in the comments. We just wanted to share with you this neat adventure for JT Adventures. And we appreciate Mimi providing this neat learning opportunity. He's already learned so much. But our takeaway is remember, but don't shake, shake the caterpillars. Yeah, don't shake them. Yeah. And we're growing them, but not like a plant. Not like a plant. They're animals. They're actually insects, right? Wow. And so this is another learning opportunity where instead of just learning about insects, they can actually observe their life cycle, see their body parts, see the characteristics that help you identify them, like their antennae their body segments, their legs. How many legs does an insect have? You know? I'm not gonna tell you. We're gonna find out together and we'll get to talk about all this neat stuff. Thanks for checking out John Thomas's latest video. Anything you wanna share with your group before you go? Mm, probably, y'all. Y'all might want to read the book because there's a lot to know, like, there's a lot to know if you don't really know a lot about butterflies. And if you know most of all the stuff, you can read half of it and half of it tonight. Yeah, and we yeah. read it together, and the good thing is John Thomas found out this is an AR book. So he even got half a point today. He made a hundred on his tips. And if you know a lot, like all of the parts of butterflies and the stuff about butterflies, you can cover the paper if you already know about the butterflies. Well, you can read it too at night. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. If you have any ideas about the next adventure John Thomas should take, uh, we really are thinking about doing some science experiments. He really enjoys science, so if you have any ideas of things he could do or things you'd like Comment to see him do, below comment down below that's right and thank you to those 28 people that have already subscribed to his channel we appreciate your encouragement and he's looking to add more subscribers so give us a thumbs up click subscribe down below and we would love to give you a shout out on the next jt adventures
Thanks. Thanks.